Hi, this is an example of how to use dictionaries and lists in um, Open University Course MT264. Um, I'm using um, a shopping basket as my example here um, so that each item appears in a dictionary with a quantity. So um, here's my little user interface. So I'll show you my user interface first. I'm afraid it's not a very exciting user interface. It is very, very much just to illustrate my purposes. So do feel free if you want to make a nice interface to make a nice interface. Um, so basically in here I'm saying I've got sausages in my text box and I just want to know how many there are. So I've added one to the basket um, and I've got two items of cheese. Um, you can add new items as well. So we have five lemons, we like lemons. And then you can see there are five items. Okay, so that's my basic user interface. Um, and I always tend to knock together a user interface that generally doesn't follow um, the user interface design principles, just to allow me to test all of my code so I know it works. Um, so we'll go and have a quick look at what lies behind the scenes. Okay, so within MT264 um, we use admin classes um, that wrap up all of the functionality. So in this case I've got a class that I've called basket admin and within the basket I've got a dictionary. So um, my basket items, there's two items in every dictionary. The first part, so the of string part there, um, is the key and within a dictionary you basically store paired values so you have a key that represents something that is unique within the dictionary so in this case it would be the name of our item so the cheese or the sausages and then the other part of the dictionary is the value part of the of the information so in this case it's the number that we're going to store so as you usually do you declare you declare your field within your class, so I've got my basket items as a dictionary, and then within the constructor I create a new instance of the dictionary and put that in F basket items. Now there are various um, properties and methods of dictionaries that are useful, and I've got a number of methods here in my um, class that look at each one of those. Um, so one of the more useful things is to be able to count the number of things that are in your dictionary. So in this case it's the number of different ingredients in my basket. Um, so although I'm storing that I've got three pieces of cheese and two sausages or whatever, it won't return five, it will return two. So I've got one cheese item and one sausage item. And quite simply you've got um, a count property that returns the number in your dictionary. As long as you've created a new dictionary um, that will always return a value, it will return zero if there's nothing in it. The other um, use, most useful thing that I find when accessing dictionaries is the contains key um, method. Um, what that allows you to do is to be able to check to see whether an item is within your dictionary before you try and access it. If, for example, in my basket I was to um, access, I'm trying to think of another food item quickly, <laughs> if I was to try and access oranges and there aren't any oranges in there, um, then it would it would give me a nasty error. So this, this allows you to be able to check to see whether it's there first before you start accessing it. So contains key is a method that returns a boolean value and um, its parameter, which I've used an item, that is the key of the dictionary, so it's the first thing. So in this case, you'd have fbasketitems.contains key, and then what gets passed in would be a string with cheese in it. Yeah? And that would return true or false, representing whether there's an item with that key in the dictionary. Uh, my next method I've written here, so I've got the add to basket and I've decided, and this is really up to your specification, if the item isn't in the basket I'm going to add it, but if it is in the basket I'm going to update the number required. Now sometimes depending on the application you're writing, um, if you call an add method on a dictionary you might need to raise an exception to say it's already in there. So again, it depends very much on, on your requirement. In this case because we are building up um, effectively a shopping list, then we just need to add one, add the quantity. So 
what I do is I check, so this is my is in basket method I've got above, so it checks that it contains the key. And again, this is the MT264 course standard, so that if you have a method or a property that exists in your class, then you use it. Um, so then you know if you did change that method, it would continue to do the same thing. So you could equivalently say um, if F basket item contains key on this line. Um, however, then if you start changing the functionality of is in basket, if you change the logic, it won't work anymore. So you need to use the methods if they exist. So I've basically said if it's in the basket, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the item. So the item property returns the value that corresponds to the key, which is an item here. So you pass in the string value, which would be cheese, and it would then return you how many cheese you have in your basket. And what I'm doing is I'm setting the value in that item to be what it already is, and then I'm going to add some more to the end. So if you've already got three, I'm going to say um, I'm going to pass in cheese for an item, I'm going to pass in two for a quantity. So if cheese exists, then it gets the value that it currently is, which is that, and then it adds the extra amount onto the end. If it doesn't already exist, then I use the add method of the dictionary um, with the key and the value pair as before. So those are the sort of more useful um, things. You can do all sorts of lovely stuff with it. So in this case, I'm also returning the item quantity. If you want to know how many cheese you have, then you'd use the item method um, and pass in the key, which would be, again would be cheese, which would return an integer value. In this case, I've said if it's not in the basket, it's going to return zero. Um, again, depending on your requirement, you might like to raise an exception there. Um, and that function just returns the amount. Um, the other thing I've got on the end here, and this is just as a little TMA hint really, is um, lists and dictionaries are subtly different things. Um, with lists, um, they're basically they're not keyed is, is the main difference. Um, so it's a little harder to deal with them. I mean, there are advantages and disadvantages to both, so I'll let you think about what the problems are. Um, so I've got this get single item list and the point of this is to create a list rather than a dictionary. So a list of all of the items that I only want one of. So the way that you can do that quite easily is you can loop round this basket items dot keys. There's also a basket items dot values um, uh, method which returns all of the, a list of all the values. So you can have a think about when it's appropriate to use each one. And again, I'm using this item property on the dictionary. So F basket items is the dictionary. Um, if it returns one, so item name would be your cheese again. The item pro uh, item method returns the amount of cheese you want. So if I only want one cheese, then it uses the add method on the list to add the item name. So your list will contain just strings, which you can see here. I've defined it to contain just strings that represent those um, items that are in your basket with um, only one defined as their item number. So um, lists and dictionaries work in similar ways as far as adds, removes, counts, things like that. Um, have a little play with them and see what you think the main differences are and indeed what the main similarities are because they do have very different uses and, and uh, different advantages and disadvantages to each. So I hope that's made that a little clearer. Um, if you do want to get hold of the code that I've used just to walk through this, then do send me a private message with your email address on it and I'll send it through to you. Um, my students, you'll find it on the on the tutor group forum at some point. Um, so I hope that's useful. Uh, do let me know by adding comments to this clip if you'd like any information or anything else, um, or if you found this at all useful. Um, so I hope that's helped slightly to uh, remove some of the fog. Uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, keep an eye out for more of my clips.